As Charlotte Mecklenburg STEM education teachers looked over the vast Marshall steam station, they were looking at a place where enough electricity is produced to power about two million homes. And it is one of many Duke plants that are the heart and soul of what keeps Charlotte and much of North and South Carolina humming, electric power. Whether it's generated by nuclear, diesel, coal, natural gas, solar, wind, or water, Duke uses them all, a majority of its workers have a STEM education. I went to uh, UNC Charlotte. Um, I studied mechanical engineering, and I've been with the company now for about 10 years. Um, I learned a lot in mechanical engineering about uh, thermal fluid systems. Um, and so here at the plant, I've, I've been an equipment owner for the boilers, which uh, basically a, a, you know, a thermo heat transfer cycle and uh, I'm also in the project management which we also learn uh, in school. The education uh, in school and a lot of the uh, techniques you learn and um, uh, methods uh, of calculating things are come in handy and used quite often. I would have never been able to get uh, in the role I am now without that degree. It gives you the basis of uh, you know, the fundamentals of how things work, uh, the dynamics of the systems, uh, just just the operational functions that we do here. Um, you know, everything you learn in school is not going to be exactly what you, you see in the field, but it, it does give you a baseline of, of what's going on and, and uh, gives you an analytical approach to how, how to solve problems in the day-to-day -day world. Duke, like most of the places the STEM teachers visited, is facing a workforce that's close to retirement. So the need for STEM savvy young people is critical. What we're trying to do is help the teachers have the tools to educate the individuals coming up through the high schools, actually starting in elementary schools, and giving them the tools to educate them and help them realize that there are a lot of jobs in the industries in North and South Carolina that they can uh, definitely fulfill the future needs of our workforce. Most people take electricity for granted. But after the day at Duke, the teachers know there's a lot of work that goes into making electricity, and what they teach is critical to electricity production. Back in the classroom, teachers say they'll be able to help guide students to the right courses that could help them work at Duke. The students are going to have to set themselves up and in line, take the right courses, pay attention in, in school as far as to get them right math courses, um, and also the other opportunities they have at CPCC to, uh, to be advanced so they can put them in, in the right line to get careers in these types of jobs. My students, they hear the word engineer, but they don't know who is an engineer, what an engineer does, but seeing the different kinds of fields that um, they can do or they can pursue to work in a place like Duke, I think uh, it's really something that um, when they'll get to be exposed to it, I believe a lot of them will want to think about taking some of the engineering classes and actually trying to get to um, fill some of those positions. Duke has good jobs for students who are STEM educated and has one thing that most of the other industries can't promise a student looking for a long-lasting career. Power, they can't, they can't outsource power. You can't ship power across the sea.